have you ever wondered why some husbands are stingy not that they don't have money but they are stingy with it would you want to know why relax I will tell you. My name is Sandra Ezeji Anyele. I am your marriage foundation coach. As always, I want to welcome all those that are new to my YouTube channel. And I want to say thank you to my returning subscribers. In today's video, I'm going to tell you five ways to deal with a stingy husband. Most times when we are sick, we usually take surface treatments. We don't want to, you know, do a proper diagnosis to know the cause of that sickness so that we can take the necessary treatment and, you know, find a solution, if possible, permanently. The same way in marriage, you really need to find out the why of what happened or what is happening. You don't just, you know, go into an argument or you start a fight when it could just be something that you use you know an honest and open communication to solve the first and most important way is for parents especially mothers to teach their male children from an early age how to be generous yes because when you are generous as a young man chances are that when you get married you will not be stingy i will explain in our homes when our children our male children are with something whatever it is that they can share with their siblings or they can share with anybody they find it so difficult to give it out and what do we say especially as mothers i want to emphasize on mothers because mothers tend to stay more with their children now instead of this child sharing that thing with the sibling or whoever as the case may be or even with the mother the child will say mm. instead of the mother correcting that child immediately the mother will say eh, when you grow up you, you will start giving or sometimes when the child reluctantly wants to give the child will just small a small fraction of that thing and give you and you will collect as a mother sometimes too you are even the one that gave the child that thing and the child will find it so difficult to give it to you you just say he's a child when he grows he will change no that is the origin of stinginess because this child does not know you know it's like a plain canvas whatever you put on it that is what it will carry it is our duty as mothers to teach our male children how to be generous whenever they do that ignorantly because they don't know they just acted on impulse somehow you correct them you tell them no you should learn to share or encourage them to share or you can even collect that thing and share it among the siblings better still you can use this illustration if your, your child's name is prince for instance you can say prince my boy do you love your mommy of course he will say yes you know say is this what you want to give the person you love he said uh about me i will give you again my son love is giving love is sharing remember for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son you will see that your son will even you know help you to finish up the statement these things are very simple but if ignored they will cause huge problems in the future remember we are trying to change the narrative now I am not talking about those who are already married to stingy people, although I will come to that, but I'm telling you how to deal with it. Because if we start now to correct that, the child will grow up knowing that it is good to share, it is good to give. That is just the truth. These are some of the things that we ignore, but they are very important. I have always said it in my channel. I talk about the foundation. These things start from families. It starts at the beginning but sometimes because of ignorance we neglect them we don't talk about them the mother especially the father has also has a role to be but i said the mother when the child is being stingy when the child the male child is being stingy do not condone it encourage the child to share encourage the child to give show the child by example that it is good to be generous yes it's very important don't say it's a child don't say mm, when he grows up he will know or when he grows up he will learn to no don't leave anything to chance the second way to deal with a husband who is stingy is to start early to talk to your children about how to be a generous father and a generous husband yes by the time you are discussing with your children please i beg of you include these things in the discussion don't say how ah, they are children no don't do that don't say uh, when they grow because i can tell you that by the time they are of age to get married you won't even have time to talk about all these things to them 
Yes, I am telling you from experience. Now, let me ask you, how many of you, when you wanted to get married, that your parents sat you down and told you, eh, you have to be generous, you have to learn to give your wife, you have to do this, you have... Sometimes they forget to tell you all these things, but they are important. Sometimes, too, they neglect it because they didn't know that these things will cause problems between you and your wife. If we want to change the narrative, we have to start early. By the time you are discussing with your male children, inculcate all these things to them. Tell them the importance of being a generous father and a generous wife. Tell them that if they are stingy, that their wives will not be happy with them. That is how it goes. And you mention to them if there are examples of times when your husband gave you things without you even asking, you tell them, you say, look at what your father has been doing. Or even if your husband was not doing that, when they are of age, you can use it as an example. Let us also learn to be vulnerable because sometimes we paint a good picture to our children. Meanwhile, we are hurting. By the time you tell your children the way things are, they will understand the importance of doing some of these things when they grow up. You cannot automatically be a generous husband when you were not trained. Nobody is born to be generous. I can tell you that. Some of these things are learnable. So start early. By the time you are discussing with them, in your communications with them, you tie it in in your communication with them so that they will learn from an early age, so that they will know the importance of being generous. It's very important to be generous. Now, the third way to deal with a stingy husband is when you are dating for marriage, please do not close your mouth. When you notice that this person is stingy, open your mouth and say it. Do not condone it. Do not keep quiet. Do not tell yourself, eh, he's not giving me because we are not married yet. Because if he's not giving you when people were dead for marriage, definitely he will not give you when people are married. Some of these things are learnable. You tell him, tell him that you don't buy things for me. Even if you're a working class lady, because this is one of the problems that most ladies face. Because they think they can take care of themselves. So they don't tell the person they want to get married to some of the things they they need they keep quiet they will be doing it by themselves by the time they get married it becomes a problem now by the time you keep quiet the man will not even know that he's not you know generous he will think he's doing the right thing that is just how it works another way to deal with a stingy husband is by being a giver yourself sometimes people learn from example if you are dating for marriage you can decide once in a while who says that you cannot buy something for your perspective. It's not a bad thing, I can tell you. Some people, you know, when they are not generous, by the time you buy things for them, they will follow suit. Before you know it, they will start buying for you. So that is another way to deal with a stingy person. The person will now come to his senses and say, ha, this lady used to buy things for me. Why don't I reciprocate? That is it. It is not automatic. It's not when you buy one, you say he will also buy one. No, it doesn't work like that. It's for you to do it. That which you expect from him, you also do it. Yes, that is how it works. So that is another way of dealing with a stingy husband. Now, the final way to deal with a stingy husband is to remain silent if you have accepted it from the beginning. What do I mean? When you are dating for marriage, some of us, we are told not to collect something. But for me, as far as I'm concerned now, that is not the best advice. But like I keep saying, our parents gave us what they had. Because you cannot give what you don't have. In my case, for instance, my mother will always say, if you know you will not marry this man, don't collect anything from him. So sometimes too, that notion that you should not collect anything, when you are not dating for marriage, when the serious person now comes and gives you something, it's still ringing in your head. Don't collect if you are not ready to marry this person. And you are thinking that eh, since we are not married yet, I should not be collecting things. Like I said, that is stone age advice as far as I'm concerned. It happened to me. Don't do that again. If you are sure that that is the person you want to marry, collect. It's not a bad thing. When he gives you, you take. Don't say, don't worry, I can afford it. Or don't worry, I can get it by myself. Please, I am saying this so that people coming off after all, some of the mistakes we make, they will not make it. So like I said, if you did not talk about it from the beginning and you have married this person, yes, what you now be doing is to pray, not to pray for him, pray to God to give you the, the mind, the wisdom, to tolerate it that is what you will do then gradually gradually you'll be chipping it in you don't have to quarrel over it yes what you do in marriage is you know willingness to adjust it's not you don't have to fight over it because you accepted it from the beginning so you have to deal with it my sweetheart that is how it works anything you don't correct 
when you are dating for marriage it means you have accepted it so you deal with it don't fight over it don't you know beat up yourself and say if i had known this is not the time for blames you have accepted it you have to deal with it make sure that you are making your own money because that is another thing that can help you to adjust real quickly yes so that those areas that he's doing well you you know concentrate on those areas but when it comes to being generous he will be you know gradually gradually learning in summary we are not encouraging the wife to be lazy just because the husband is not stingy nor are we encouraging the wife to overburden somebody's son if you follow these five ways that i've mentioned i can assure you that you know you 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 will make a headway now for the mothers i have something that i have packaged for you that will help you you know to make sure that you are not training a male child that will be a stingy husband that our daughters will be complaining about in the future now say this after me and when you say it mean it and when you mean it implement it so that it will help you i pledge to train my male children to be generous so that when they get married they will not be stingy husbands this is a pledge i am making and i know that god will help me to achieve that yes this is a pledge that every mother that is thinking to be a good mother-in-law that the daughter-in-law will love that will cherish this is a pledge that will be close to your heart I have said my own, you say your own, and let it be in your mind. Train your male children so that when they get married, they will not be stingy husbands. If you are finding it difficult to do some of these things, or you are a bride, you don't know how to go about it, Coach Sandra is here for you. I've been married for more than 20 years. I've got the skill, I've got the experience. So what I'm telling you is not hearsay. What I'm telling you is what I know that will work, and it has been working. I will hold you by the hands and teach you the right things. And as a mother, if you are also finding it difficult to you know, do some of these things, I am here for you. Feel free, send me a DM, we'll talk about it. If this video has made sense to you, please give it a thumbs up. Share this video in the comment section. If there's anything you think we can add to this, please do well too. And let's have your thoughts too because my channel is a channel that talks about the foundation we are trying to you know bridge a generation of people that will be sure that their marriage will be a success when they put in the work it is not automatic i am not saying that automatically everything will be fine it will be fine only when you put in the work so please i beg of you share this video so that as many people as possible will receive this message just as you have received it and make proper use of it and for mothers i plead your indulgence to go through this video one more time so that this video will make sense to you and you will apply it in your lives turn on your notification button so that anytime i upload a new video such as this one you will be the first to know i love you so very much and i'll see you in my next video